Aries, welcome Aries. Aries, let's do a general read for you. I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I'm also going to use an oracle deck. I've been playing around with these a little bit just to see what comes out of them. Um, but we're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all those cards and then at the end we'll pull three more cards around the read just to make sure we have everything on the table that you may need. So to start the reading off, I'm going to pull one oracle card around where your energies are. And it seems that it's with relationships. <sighs> love people, use things. In today's world, we are often encouraged to love things and use people. Be a nonconformist. Embrace the evolved spiritual culture of loving people and using things to facilitate that love. Interesting. So let's have a look. Let's start to clarify that current energy. Knight of Swords, Knave of Swords, Eight of Swords. You're wanting to take some action towards someone or something. It's like you're being a little sneaky in that you're watching in order to make a correct decision, but that decision is all up in your head. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Swords. So let's look at what your desire is around this. The Fool, clarified by the Five of Cups, the Devil, and the Knight of Coins. Two knights on the table. The Fool is about just doing it. Jumping out, making a new start. Uh, there's been regret. There's been maybe somebody was jerking your chain, making life hard for you, um, making it hard for you to come and go. And it's like you regret not freeing yourself from it and following a path that brings you more prosperity. So let's look at the outcome for you. Oh, this is weird. Um, the Five of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands. There's learning that's happening with the Five of Wands here. So in the outcome, there could be some conflict, but this is just to see if you really want this Nine of Cups and a new start. This is something that can fill your heart at the same time, this is something that you've worked for for quite a while. It's like, okay, this is the new start. It's here. It's starting now. And there needs to be a lot of effort put into it. Once you get that ball rolling, it's going to continue. I want to pull three more cards around the reed. Temperance, Justice, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you know, balance, balance 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 out the effort taken to do things but also balance out the fairness that needs to be involved as well now looking at this whole love idea it's like there needs to be from what we pulled in the beginning there needs to be healing. There needs to be fairness, equality. Um, but at the same time, we see that you could also be hurting. And then the last card that I wanted to pull for you is another, excuse me, I'm having like just itchy skin like crazy right now. The journey within. There you will find all the peace, all joy, and all love. This is one of those um, cards where you need to find out what makes you feel loved you need to find out what brings you peace and what brings you joy 
and not rely on what we think should bring us those things. And so I see this as one of those sort of things where it makes it easier to give once you've given to yourself. It makes it easier to help someone else when you have all the things that you need and you can give that forward. But that's what I have for you today, Aries. Aries, feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. A different type of read. I don't know if I'll do this style again, but it's here for you today. Best of luck this week. I hope this week is better than your last. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.